This is a brand new, fully custom mega mansion, situated high up in the hills of Bel Air. My name is Eric Conover, and in this episode, we'll be touring this one-of-a-kind home with the listing agent, James Harris. Oh, hi guys, I'm James Harris from Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles, and you guys are in for a very special tour today at 1475 Bel Air Road. The property is 12,000 square feet approximately on just under one acre of land, six bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a glass encased temperature controlled wine cellar, gym, movie theater, several bar areas, and a rooftop deck to die for. So as you come into the property, you have these beautiful metal glass gates. You've got porcelain tile, limestone, olive trees, and a ton of privacy, but the approach into every home has to be flawless. So as you enter the property, you have these incredible double height ceilings, a art collection to die for that has been curated for this property specifically, oak front door, and an incredible, warm, inviting home. Let's go inside and check it out. Making our way in, we're gonna head off to the left down this hallway through this door to the home office. This room just gives off an executive feel. You have the soundproof walls throughout the office. Of course, we have the iconic Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Leaving the office back out to the hallway, we're gonna head into the main living space of this home. Incredible floor plan, everything is open. You've got pocket Fleetwood doors that are automated, so you have this amazing indoor-outdoor flow. You've got these wide plank French oak wooden floors, and every single section of the house has what I like to call a moment. This is your formal sitting area, where you have this incredible stone wrapped around an eco-smart fireplace. This over here is your bar moment with this stunning 3D curry and tile. You have an 800 gallon saltwater fish tank, which is double sided so you can see it whether you're serving a cocktail on this side or having a formal dinner party. This really is a showman's home. I mean, how many people do you know that have a tropical dual sided fish tank casually just in their living room when you enter the home? You go from your formal bar into your formal dining that seats 12 people. And you have to imagine this at night, Eric. You've got the 800 gallon saltwater fish tank. The city lights are up. You've got your guests sitting here, a few people entertaining in the kitchen. It's an entertainer's dream. The furniture can be purchased separately, as can the artwork. And my gut tells me that any buyer coming in will buy it turnkey, come in with their suitcase and toothbrush and move right in. So across from the formal dining area, we have the family room, which is surrounded by water elements. You have one waterfall out here. You have this water feature that falls right down behind you. And as you go throughout the house, one theme you're gonna notice is water features everywhere. So whether it's a bachelor behind the house or it's a family, it still has that cozy, warm element where you can just sit down, watch a movie, relax, or get rid of the furniture and have an absolute rager. <laughs> That's what I love about the house, is it suits so many different demographics, um, but ultimately it still has that warmth to it. Into the kitchen, you have the Sub-Zero fridge, freezer, wine display. You also have the Wolf coffee maker, microwave, double range convection oven. And then you have this incredible sort of breakfast area that's more informal, that's covered with a waterfall porcelain tile. And then you have the backdrop on the stove as a porcelain tile as well. So the idea is that it all comes together whereby people are entertaining in the backyard, but they can also be in the kitchen. But you have this great connection flow between the two areas, which is what people want in LA. Off in the distance, you can perfectly see those deep blues of the Pacific Ocean. Matching those deep blues of the Pacific, you have the Infinity Edge Waterfall Swimming Pool, complete with hot tub. And then around this corner, we actually have another sitting space with an outdoor TV, fireplace. 
there are so many, like James said, these moments in the home that allow for it to feel intimate and cozy, yet jaw-dropping and luxurious. So on the main level, you have all of your entertainment features, more where the family would hang out. Now we're gonna head downstairs where you really get to have some fun. So one of the cool features is you have this 30 foot chandelier that drops from the ceiling all the way down to the lower level. You have this unbelievable Venetian plaster that goes all the way up, which really brings warmth and depth to the property, which I love. And now we're in the entertaining level. Heading straight off the stairwell, we're gonna make our way to the first guest bedroom. It's a decent sized room, fully staged. This guest bedroom also has the ensuite bathroom complete with a shower. Making your way out of the guest bedroom to that main lobby area on the entertainment floor. So as you come down, you have this incredible glass encased wine cellar. We have it set up in here. If somebody wants to do a little wine tasting, they can, it's nice and cold in here, maybe light a cigar, open up a beautiful bottle of red, and never come out. And when you wake up tomorrow with a terrible hangover, we then have this glass encased gym so that you can come in here, sweat off all the beautiful red wine you drank the night before, get on the bike, and burn off some calories. From the home gym, you step across and you're now in the home movie theater. We have suede wall coverings, Rolls Royce lighting on the ceiling, top of the line projector, mad surround sound, and this just makes for the perfect movie night at home. So when you have a house like this that already has the office and the movie theater and the gym, it gives you a reason to not have to leave your home and yet just spend more time here. And this is the perfect house to do exactly that. Leaving your personal home theater, we're gonna make our way back out down this hallway. We're gonna head off to the right here and we're gonna enter the dedicated massage room. Here we have two state-of-the-art massage tables. We have the full bathroom complete with shower. So again, this room, it's currently staged as the massage room, but this could also be another guest bedroom. Now making our way back out of this massage room, we enter the open entertainment space. You have a full video wall here where you can either watch one sports show across all six TVs, or if there's a family and there's multiple kids, each TV can play its own show. Now this is something I've never seen in a home. If you look up, that's actually the bottom of the pool that we're seeing. And it's casting these cool water reflections down on the floor, making it seem like we're underwater in the living space. That's so cool. So what's cool here, Eric, is you have your whole poker set up, bar area. This material here is a backlit onyx, which changes color. You can go green, white, blue, yellow, purple, pink. So at night, you need to see this place just pop with all the different lights and textures and tones and the views. It really comes together incredibly. So as you come out here, you've got this gorgeous seating area. This is the hookah lounge. When the waterfall is on, the water trickles down from the swimming pool, and then you have this amazing sitting area. You are looking out right now at one of the most famous properties to be in Los Angeles. It's called The One. It sits on 2.8 acres. It's 100,000 square feet. Designed by the architect Paul McLean. That's set to hit the market later this year for 500 million. And now we're looking out at the Pacific Ocean, Catalina Island, and then you're looking over Linda Flora, Bel Air Mountains, and it really is a very serene, perfect view. So coming back through the entertainment area, you have these incredible art walls, and now we can head upstairs to the private area of the bedrooms through the elevator. 
So as you come out of your elevator, you've got this really cool upstairs family room. You've got the Sub-Zero fridge, because who wants to go down to the kitchen? Miele coffee maker, whole fireplace moments with slabbed marble, beautiful 80 inch TV. And there's really no reason to go downstairs. You could just stay up here and chill. So into the master suite, which is absolutely unreal. You've got your drop top TV that is hidden into the ceiling and then comes down. The same Corian tile, which pops at night. Your marble slab fireplace, all these stunning built-ins. Electronic pocket doors that disappear into the wall, open to a 1500 square foot master terrace that looks over the entire city. Truth be told, you don't even need to leave your bedroom here. So into the incredible showroom closet, you have all of these unbelievable displays. You have areas here for your watches, for your rings, for your dresses, your shoes, your handbags. Every display has special lighting so that you never get lost in here. Okay, so in the master bath, again, you have these amazing pocket doors. So you have that indoor outdoor, you're having a bath, you're looking over the entire city, you've got your steam shower, double vanity, all of this tile, which is 3D laser imprinted, which means they actually use a laser to install the tile. And then just look at how much natural light that you have pouring in. It's pretty incredible. Now we mentioned that this home is three tiers and every single floor has its own dedicated outdoor space. Well, making our way from the master bedroom back into the third floor lounge, there's a staircase here off to the side. And at the top of this staircase, we have the rooftop deck. Here you have 360 views of the entire neighborhood of Bel Air and even more off into the distance. Thank you so much for watching this episode of our luxury listing series. Comment down below the one. If you want to see an exclusive tour of this $500 million mega mansion. And with that, I hope you're well, and I will see you in the next episode.